Welcome to Seven Seas Ministries. I'm Pastor Ellie. And I'm Pastor Kurt. And we have another video for you today. And today we want to talk about God's blessings and how God blesses us. And there's not a person out there that doesn't want God to bless them. That's right. We all want God's blessings. Yes. And so we want to talk today about how that happens. And basically, blessings are not something that we should pursue in and of themselves. We need to pursue God first above everything. Mm -hmm. And as we pursue God and we put Him first in everything, then we'll start to see the blessings yes, come. That's right. You know, we hear a lot of things and uh, a lot of teachings, a lot of everything when it comes to, you know, the blessings of God and and just people just want to be blessed. You know, mm. we all want to be blessed. Yes. There's not a person. That's right. Who person, wouldn't? <laughs> right. There's not a person around that doesn't want to be blessed. But the the key to this whole thing is making sure that we don't put the blessings or seeking those blessings above mm. seeking That's God. That's right. We need to be seeking God first and foremost. Yes. And putting Him first and putting Him above all else. Mm -hmm. And when we do that, and it's a sincere gesture, it's a sincere sure. part of mm -hmm. our lives, then we will start to see the blessings of God. Yes. It's not about, you know, we you know do a certain thing and we go through the motions and perform a certain ritual or whatever it might be, mm. and then all of a sudden God will bless us. Mm -hmm. There's no secret formula for God's mm. blessings. That's you know, right. We can't yeah. just, we can't expect to... You know, do this, this, and this for X number of days, and all of a sudden, you know, God's it's blessings awesome. will pour mm -hmm. out. Um, I, I get a kick out of some of the, the things that, like on Facebook, for example, if you use Facebook, you know, somebody will post something that says, um, you know, post this and share it with three people, and and tomorrow you'll have a blessing. And it's like, <laughs> no, I don't think so. No. Um, but blessings mm -hmm. from God are our they are dependent upon the condition of our heart. Yes. And some people might try to twist what I just said and say, mm -hmm. well, that's legalism because, you know, God blesses people freely and all this and that. But if, mm -hmm. you, if you study the Word, mm -hmm. if you look at the Word, yeah. God's blessings are always dependent upon something else. Yes. There's always a condition to His mm -hmm. blessings. Mm -hmm. And it's not... You know, that we have to go through certain motions. Like I said, mm -hmm. it's not about repeating a certain phrase a number of times or praying a certain prayer a number of times. Mm -hmm. the, blessings of God, the blessings of God flow mm -hmm. when our heart is in tune with Him yes. and our heart seeks Him above all else. Mm -hmm. And when we put Him first and we mm -hmm. put Him above all other things and we are doing it in all sincerity, for the sole purpose of wanting to know Him more. Yes. And love Him more. Mm -hmm. And keep Him first in our lives. Mm -hmm. Then the blessings will come. Mm, yes. If we're seeking God just to get blessings, mm. we're, we're losing already. Yes. Because God isn't... He's not a magic lamp that you rub and the genie pops right. out and, and gives you what you wish for. Yeah, the motive has to be... The motive has to be right. Right. And mm -hmm. that motive should be just loving God. That's right. You know, if mm -hmm. we're loving God purely out of mm. uh, greed or or with a motive because we want something, mm. we're not loving God. No. You know? You know, I think sometimes, like, people see other people that are Christians, they, see, they may see their lifestyle and they may see them getting... Mm -hmm. uh, blessed right. um, and walking a certain way in their life and they may look at that and say oh if I walk like that mm -hmm. then I can get what they're getting too but I right. think sometimes we can get confused with that because yeah. it's not necessarily a heart that really wants to walk like that it's right. what we see that they have it's, it's like a fleshly desire right yeah. so we have to make sure that yep. it, we're not doing that you right. know it's something that we have to un get an understanding in our heart mm -hmm. that we truly want to do what God wants us to do right? Um, because we love Him. Right. You know, and we want to, we just want to, want to please Him. We want to please Him yeah. and we want to love Him back with mm -hmm. the, the things that we do. Right. Um, yep. And we and can't confuse the blessings of God with just material things. Right. You know, God can bless us 
when we don't have a, a thing to our name. That's right. You know, mm -hmm. he can bless us in ways that don't have anything to do with money or material That's things. Right. Yes. And and yeah. when our heart is right with him, we will see those as blessings. Yes. And we won't get confused or mm -hmm. get our feelings hurt because you know we don't get this certain thing that we were hoping for. Or maybe mm -hmm. you know we can even be falling short when it comes to having the finances to pay for the things that we're obligated to pay for. But that doesn't mean we're not being blessed. That's right. God may be blessing us in other ways. He may be blessing us in a spiritual sense and helping us to grow and mature spiritually. That's right. And we still may be lacking things mm. like finances, but that doesn't mean that we're not blessed. So, yeah. yes. you know, we just want, we want to put this out there yes. so that people can understand, mm. number one, what it means to be blessed, and number two, how we get blessed. Right. I think, too, another thing is we, we can't say that we're not blessed mm -hmm. just because of our circumstances. Right. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, to be focused on our circumstances sometimes will cause us to feel like we're not blessed. Right. We can't look at it like that. No. We can't look at no. it like that. We have to look at it in, in, uh, through God's eyes and, and, mm -hmm. and look at our situation and let him show us yeah. the blessings. Even in those times, those hard times, we're still right. blessed. That's right. We are still blessed mm -hmm. in the hard times. That's right. And, yep. you know... The distraction that may try to come is, you know, the enemy may try to get our eyes off and say, oh, are you really blessed? Yeah. Look around you and right. see, see what's going on around you. Right. But we have to, as God's children, we have to understand that just because things like that are happening, things like that are uh, going on around us, that still mm -hmm. doesn't, that does not mean that we're not blessed. Right, right. And the enemy will try to dangle certain things in front of us and show us where we lack it with material things. Yes, and try to whisper in our ear and tell us that, you know, by lacking in those areas that we're not blessed. Or we're doing something wrong. Right. Or, you know, we just right. have to remember that, you know, as we as we seek God, He will show us, even in those hard times, mm -hmm. how blessed we are. Right. And that's what's yeah. so awesome about Him. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's why we can't get our eyes on the things that we have or the things that right. we see other people have or the and, things that we don't have and try to compare our right. situation to them and how blessed we are compared to them because right. that'll that'll throw us off yeah. and, and that'll that'll get us in a state of ungrateful yeah. being ungrateful that'll and get us in trouble too. yeah we yeah. don't want to be in that state whether right. we're in a hard state uh, a hard situation or a hard place or in a good place mm -hmm. we need we need to understand and know that we are blessed that's right we are blessed that's right. amen Amen. Amen. So we hope this helps everybody. Yes. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Give us a call. Mm -hmm. Shoot us an email. Comment under the video. Yes. And, uh, and remember that God wants to bless us. Yes. We just have to be faithful yes. in seeking Him and putting Him first and above all else. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Okay. Until the next video. Uh, we love all you guys. Yes, we do. And uh, we're praying for you. Yes, we are. And we appreciate your prayers also. Yes, thank you. All right, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.